Good afternoon everybody. I hope everybody is keeping warm because it is really, really freezing. It's absolutely freezing inside this building and outside. Good afternoon everybody. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 1.45pm. So guys, it's the day after me, Crystal, has been to the dentist. My mum has not been to the dentist for 20 years. My dad never went to the dentist. When my dad passed on, he had no front teeth, no front teeth at all. Um, so, like I said, good afternoon. It's freezing cold. There was no trouble in the dentist, although I was given no treatment and no help. I did not lose my temper or get cross because losing your temper and getting cross is unproductive. Obviously, there are times when you are going to lose your temper for valid reasons, but I am not losing my temper. I will not be provoked and I will not be triggered. OK, so carry on. I haven't gone out anywhere today. I took Max out for, for a walk this morning. He is a tiny chihuahua. Right, he's curled up, nice and warm, and it's freezing out there. Right, it's absolutely freezing, so I'm keeping him wrapped up warm this afternoon. Right, it's freezing. Dogs can get chills as well as humans, so he's wrapped up, he's nice and warm. Um, I went downstairs to see if I've got any post. The letter has come from my mum. There is a post, there is a package for someone with the word nut on it. Nut beam. My father, Derek, used to have a lot of aliases on the computer. He used to call himself Sue. He used to call himself Peter. He used to call himself different names. I have my birth name and I have the name I was, I changed my name by deed poll in 2009 I, I you know so that's it right so my father had numerous names that he called himself Derek did one of them being Derek Grog and Grog is stands for beer and my father Derek loved his beer he loved his bottles of beer I don't drink alcohol when I was sat in the dental chair waiting for the male asian dentist to come back from a phone call the um estonian uh, dental nurse asked me a few questions do you smoke no do you drink socially so i was asked a load of questions but i didn't get anything now, every dentist gets paid when they, they see a patient, even a dental checkup. They get paid for that. But I have had nothing, nothing, right? So I wasn't cross in the dental surgery. I had a 20 minute conversation with a very nice foreign lady. I said goodbye when I left. I wasn't in the slightest bit angry because what does that accomplish? nothing it upsets people it gives people a bit of entertainment i could hear two chaps while i was in the dental room i could hear two men talking outside i could hear every word of their conversation and i said to the i said to the dental nurse i can hear what they're saying outside and the the door it was broken i the door could not be shut Therefore, everything I was saying to the dental nurse was probably being heard as well, right? So their door was broken. It should shut. Especially when you're having dental treatment, it should be shut so no one could hear. But I could hear a conversation outside and, and they could probably hear me speaking to the dental nurse. So I left the building. I did not get cross. I got my shopping. I came home. And even when people were rude to me, I smiled at them because it kills them with kindness. I'm not going to fight 
with you know fists or or losing my temper it makes me ill and i'm looking after myself right now i'm going to show you i spoke to my mum this morning whilst i was on the field with my dog and i'm not stressed having my dog stressed out either by these morons no i'm not so my mum has sent season's greetings and my mum loves drawing trees and we've got the sun moon and stars and she said that was a lady a lady underneath the sun we have got three stamps two are the head of king charles the third of england and the other is um joseph and mary and the baby jesus right so 40 pounds 20 pound notes i've told you that they are like car number plates queen's head on there a e o 2 b c 3 3 33 alexa what does the number 33 stand for here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. The number 33 is considered a master number associated with spiritual development, compassion, and generosity. It symbolizes inspiration, intuitive knowledge, and the ability to lead others. The number has a spiritual vibration with divine energy. AC 36. No CK usually get ones with ck on and i know what that's done for and i do not have a car i've never learned to drive so let's read my mother's letter to me her daughter 8 a.m daytime thursday 21st of november dear janestra I'm writing to you, Janestra, very quickly as I want you to get this little money, £40, as soon as possible. I do hope that things are getting easier and I also hope you are feeling well. I hope Max, your dog, is well. They say we're getting snow flurries today, so wrap up warm when you go out. I'll keep in touch by landline phone and if I can a word I can't read the rest please excuse the writing also because I am intending to get to the post box as soon as possible by mum that is my mum's handwriting it's more fancier than mine mine is what you know mine my mother's is my mother's and that's the same handwriting that sent me postal orders to gloucestershire all those years ago so my mum jennifer would send a postal order and a letter up to me um in gloucestershire and i would have to go out to the post office and cash that postal order in all sorts of queues and i would get frustrated and i would have kids running around the post office all around me and on one occasion i had to take all my children four of them into the main post office in gloucestershire at, just after christmas to cash a postal order and any mother knows that how hard it is when you've got a lot of children and you're waiting in a queue and children lose their patience and starts running around and being naughty right so i would have to cash a 10 pound postal order and wait in a massive queue now my mum is sending money in the post and i don't have to cash postal orders because the nearest uh, post office here is down Rochester High Street and it's very very tiny my children are grown up now so I don't have that difficulty but I know what it's like for young mothers with with three or four kids waiting in queues and children lose their patience 
as well as the parents. Um, so got my mum's letter. Um, Max and I are cold. It's cold outside. It's freezing. We don't want to get into arguments. We want to keep safe and warm at home. Right, so there's a parcel downstairs for a nut beam. Hence the word nut. There has been no arguments, no noise, no not nothing. I do not get proper dental care. I do not get proper medical treatment, but I am not going to lose my temper. Everything is crooked and bent and it will all, all come out. It all will. There's no need to scream and shout. And I'm certainly not mad. They would not leave a chronically disabled mad person in a flat by themselves. No, they wouldn't. Because not only would that be a danger to myself, it would be a danger to everybody outside. The names they've been calling me and my mother. Trying to hide the abuse that my dad to, did to both me and my mother. It was my father that was nuts, correct? It was my father. You know, when he was a young boy, he set fire to his mum and dad's house. He set fire with his, to the house with his parents in it. When he was a little boy, Derek did. Then he grew up and got on to worse things than that. And he was allowed to do what he liked to me and my mother and get away with it. No one labelled my father mad. No one did anything to help me and my mother when he attacked us and beat us with his hands. So you can keep your nut, things with nut on it, fruit cake, Scooby-Doo, all that kind of shit and shovel it. What I speak is the truth. And they are just trying to cover up their, their crookedness and bentness they know that I've got evidence I've got videos of these idiots coming at me I've got all the I've got all the screenshots of Sean Clark's filthy conversation I'm afraid I didn't screenshot the picture of him naked sat in front of me on a video I think that would have broken the camera Right, so there's evidence. There's evidence of the police's ineptitude, their inefficiency, their lies, calling me mate over the telephone conversations. Go through my conversations with the police. Listen to them. The one woman said she was going to get me on a course about security. Nothing happened. No, because I have to go out in my flat with mix with mix with people, and they don't want me to talk. They don't want me to discuss it. When I was talking to the dental nurse about the treatment I'd had in that dental surgery, the dentist soon came running up the stairs to stop the conversation. <laughs> they do not want you to mix with people so so that you don't speak the truth. You, people can't hear you. Right, I'm not Jennifer, my name is Crystal. And why on earth would I want to be reminded of my father when we've got Rolf Harris vans at the top of the road? Ah, oh, Harris. So I've got money, I've got food, and my poor little dog, you know, this freezing cold, he doesn't want to go out. Why should I drag him out when he doesn't want to go out? I mean, I could go for a walk with him and hold him under my arm and make sure he's wrapped up warm, but at the moment he's fast asleep under his fleece blanket. The time is two o'clock. I don't pick up children from school because I'm not a young mum. I'm a middle-aged woman. My kids are adults. 
I'm at home with me and I just have my dog now, like a lot of older people do. It's not just me. Just trying to get through the day with a smile and trying to be nice to people when people are trying to convince yourself that you're mad when you bloody well ain't. <sighs> so I haven't got parcels today. I went out yesterday, I went to Primark, I bloody enjoyed myself for a change and actually got what, well, there goes the phone. Now the phone's going off. Who is it this time? Brighton. Somebody is ringing my iPhone from Brighton. Brighton. See? Right in the middle of a video when I'm speaking, the phone goes off. Yes, because they, <laughs> they know. They know I'm not the person that they're trying to portray to the other people that I am. I'm a nice person, right? And I'm going to continue to be nice. And I will sing if I get any trouble this evening. I will sing. Sing! I have uploaded three songs to Star Maker. One that is a Beatles song, The Beatles. Help! I need somebody, help! And um, I've, I've uploaded a couple of other songs. And I will not stop. You listen to them, you get brainwashed by fools. You listen to me, you get the truth. See you later.